Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and let the rest go. You can look at your moon and rising signs if you want greater clarity. And we have taking shelter. The answers are within. Now what's happening here is we have to take some time on our own to reflect, to self-reflect, to go within. You've got enough knowledge within you to find the way forward. Your enlightenment will come from doing your soul searching here, taking your time on your own. The answers are not within your environment and spirit is reminding you of this. Watching clouds, lie back, rest and relax. Now this is about sitting back. It can be walking in nature, uh, doing something you relax here will it help you connect in with your intuition. It will help ground you, connect in with yourself. And it will help you see the way forward here. So we're needing clarity. We need to find the answers. It's about looking within for guidance here. You've got the knowledge. You've got what it takes here to be able to go forward. Now we've got the Queen of Wands. We've got the Ace of Pentacles here. The Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to do a pyramid here. And the Four of Wands. Now this here, the... the Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour. What Spirit's saying here is luck, good luck is on your side. It's time to relax. It's time to think about what you're passionate about, what you want to put your heart and soul into. So you might want to do a bit of self-reflection here to find the answers because there's new opportunities you could be taking up for stability. Now, this could also be windfalls or inheritances that come through that enable you to reconsider your options here to go down a path that you would enjoy, you know, in, where you would enjoy things so you know you could have an opportunity here if you're financially stable to take up a new project or a new venture it's also new opportunities for purchases of any kind um, increasing your finances so you might want to develop a skill um, you know learn a new skill here um, but taking up new ventures definitely that could benefit you in the future here and there could be a lot of stability for doing this for you or your family or your soul tribe there's a lot of success lies ahead if you decide to take up ventures that you're passionate about um, that could bring you a lot of stability and a lot of financial benefits from doing that also this could be house moves for some of you you don't have to be this could be uh, no opportunities as well romantic opportunities here um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy as wands, uh, you could end up taking up a new opportunity or moving your relationship on to the next level. But a lot of success is definitely coming in. Just develop that and see what else Spirit's got to say here. The Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, the three of cups. Now this here is about you're going to find a lot of contentment in the future and a lot of happiness. You're going to feel well balanced. You're going to enjoy things better. There's going to be invitations. There's going to be things to celebrate. You might want to even celebrate things. Now this could also be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy coming through. That's going to make you very happy. So like I said, if there was opportunities for romance that some of you wanted to take up, there's definitely the opportunity for that. So this could be dates getting invited out doesn't have to be romantic. This could just be enjoying yourself. Going out with friends here would definitely help you. I think you need to take time out to relax. Spirit was telling you here. So do things you enjoy. It would, you would definitely benefit from that. This can also be you um, being very happy about where you're at. You and your higher self come into balance here because you're enjoying everything you're investing in. So you're understanding here that we need to be enjoying what we're investing our time in, most definitely. It definitely helps uh, with growth in our lives. We have the hanged man. The seven of swords here. And we'll just take the final card from the bottom, the hermit card. So you have to, going to have to do a bit of soul searching here. This is uh, the hanged man is Pisces energy and the hermit is Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with somebody or somebody with that in the chart. Now, the, one of the reasons you might be wanting to have to go towards new opportunities for stability uh, and do a bit of soul searching here and taking time in your own is because things are coming to light. Um, it could be you being enlightened through doing your soul searching or there could be somebody who was trying to get away with something here, some kind of deception here. And you're thinking about how you're going to deal with it. It can also just be you realising 
that you're not passionate about what you're investing in and it's time for new opportunities for stability. So you'll have to take that as it resonates. Whatever's coming to light here, you're not comfortable with. But if you do your soul searching, you're going to find the way forward. Now, your perception of this is going to be everything because the way you're looking at this is highly, highly important. You need to look at the bigger picture here. You need to understand that these things have came to light because you need to move on. You're feeling uncomfortable uh, or you're not feeling comfortable with like, with people or situations around you, it's because that you're needing to look again at the situation. Now, this could be in a situation you've been in for a while. It could be a situation you've been in for a while here. But remember, the overall energy here is about you feeling comfortable with yourself and the people around about you. And it's important that we're around the right people in our lives so that we can be supported with any goals that we, we want to take up here. So having the right soulmate energy around you is highly important as well. But this is about, there could be an epiphany moment where you suddenly realise that things are going to have to change here. But your soul searching is going to bring you to that conclusion. It could very well be the case. So, you know, relax, take time out, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking about here, whatever's came to light, you will be able to resolve it. But you're going to have to look at the bigger picture. You're definitely going to have to look at the bigger picture. And there's more than one way to resolve situations and go about things. So please keep an open mind here. Um, it could be something, like I say, that you're suddenly realising doesn't fit anymore or you're not happy with it anymore. So we're, we're definitely, we've learned a lot here. He hangs from the tree of knowledge and you're learning here all the time. So don't beat yourself up here. Don't be beating yourself up if things haven't gone the way you would like. Please remember that whoever this is or whatever this situation is that you've been involved with, it's all about soul growth. It's all about your experiences on this material earth. And they have taught you something, always taught you something about yourself, where your happiness lies, what you're passionate about. So you're going to have to make one or two decisions here, intellectual decisions about how you want to go forward. And this can be cutting people and situations out of your life that no longer serve you. So if there's deceptive people or environments that you're comfortable or uncomfortable, I beg your pardon, in, this is time to be looking at it. You will get the clarity you need through soul searching, taking your way away yourself away on your own, away from the people or the environments will give you the clarity. You, it will help with the clarity. And remember, lie back, relax, take a walk, do something you enjoy here. Even if it means going out to, for a night out, just to clear your head so that you can come back and make these decisions because you have got the answers, you have got it, what it takes to deal with this situation. You'll get overcome your challenges most definitely. Your challenges will end. Your burdens will end. And like I said in the past there, just just before there, I did say that these are all karmic lessons you're learning. So you're wiser now. You've been through the mill and it's time to put an end to these challenges. Your challenges will end through your decisive actions. And you'll start to see the way forward. You'll move from choppy waters into calmer waters. And you're going to create beautiful balance in your life. Harmony will be restored. This is a reward card. Sixes are rewards for the future. And through finding the answers within you and making these decisions that are necessary here and the unnecessary decisions, you'll go forward to create beautiful stability in your life. So re rewards for your hard work. Whatever you put into something, you'll get out of it. Things will work out. They'll balance out. So well-balanced finances, if it's affecting that area, you'll go into better balanced environments, work environments, home environments. Having the right people is important. And that's what I'm saying here. Being at one with yourself and the people around about you, having better uh, soulmate type relationships will definitely benefit you as well. So we'll just take a couple of these divine direction cards here, Spirit, please. Birth. Birth. This is a time for new beginnings. Embrace a new life with open arms. So there's changes and decisions that need to be made here, definitely. Friends, absolutely. Spend more time with friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. And that's what I'm saying. It's highly important we have the right people around here. And have that night out. Go and do something you enjoy here with people that you can trust and rely on. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.